The hip joint functions as one of the most important joints in the human body. Designed for both mobility and stability, the hip allows the entire lower extremity to move in three planes of motion while providing an important shock absorption function to the torso and lower body. The hip is a ball and socket joint made of the femoral head and the acetabulum, which unite the femur or thigh bone with the pelvis. As a result of this configuration, the leg can move forward and backward, side to side, and rotates left and right. First, draw back about 3 cc of lidocaine into the 3 cc syringe. Then, draw back about 5 cc of Conray into the 5 cc syringe. Straighten out the tubing, and then connect the Conray syringe to the tubing. For the Magnum Vist, use the 1 cc tuberculin syringe. Draw back about 0.1 cc of Magnum Vist and make sure you evacuate any air bubbles. Then, dilute the 0.1 cc of Magnavist in the 10 cc saline container, mix vigorously, and then draw back the entire 10 cc diluted mix. Now you have everything set up and you're ready to get started. For hip arthrograms, place the feet in the internally rotated position. This time, instead of a paper clip, we'll localize it with a clamp. Choosing a point for the hip is as easy as choosing a point for the shoulder. We can divide the femoral head and neck into one half, and then make a 90 degree line to divide it into another half, and we can essentially choose a point in the upper half of the head-neck junction. By choosing this point, we'll be avoiding the iliopsoas tendon and the femoral vessels. You can mark your access point with a pen, and then you can prep the site just as before. Finally, place the sterile field over your access site. Administer lidocaine in a similar fashion. First, a sub-Q bolus, followed by a deeper amount of lidocaine.
Advance the spinal needle a small amount underneath the skin and then check your trajectory under fluoroscopy. Adjust the path of the needle if necessary and then advance the needle until it contacts the femoral cortex. Once you've contacted the femoral cortex, you can remove the inner stylet and then in a similar fashion you can connect the tubing and again make sure you evacuate the air bubbles by dripping in a small amount of contrast first. You can then inject a small amount of contrast and then check under fluoroscopy. In this case, the contrast has again dispersed away from the needle tip, which indicates a good injection. Disconnect the condray from the back end of the tubing and then connect the magnavist. In this case, we have also mixed in steroid with the magnavist, which gives it the white color. Finally, you should see a diluted result such as this, which indicates a good injection. Remove the needle, apply pressure, and then... The ball and socket joint. Listen to our song and we'll make our point. The femur bone is heavy and long, and the acetabulum sits its head. This capsule is dense and strong. The innominate is our three part bone, ischium, ilium, and pubis. They do not move alone. This leg is able to dislocate, it has high stability. A hip, a hip, a hip is a ball and socket joint. Listen to our song, we make our point. Iliofemoral and pubofemoral are the ligaments anterior. Ischiofemoral is the capsule ligament posterior. The last ligament is the ligament of the femur head. Weak and intracapsular, it does not strengthen the hip back red. A hip, a hip, a hip is a ball and socket joint. Listen to a song and make your point. Iliosoas is the strongest hip flexor with help from rectus femoris, sartorius, TFL, and the adductor. Maximus is the primary hip 
legs Dancer along with the hamstrings Other hip movements are abduction, abduction and rotation Luckily there's no more I have to say on these anatomy things A hip, a hip, a hip is a ball and socket joint Listen to our song and make our point. Don't stop the rockin' to the band, man. Make it 